shots. Bye. There's a damn dog. Can you hear that? Stop, stop. He's gonna keep going for the rest of the video. Oh, no, maybe he's done. The dogs are back. Shut up. You don't need to be barking right now. Like, chill, fam. <laughs> hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with the Summer Reader book tag. It was originally created by Isle of Dree. And I was tagged by Alyssa from Pucks and Paperbacks, so I will leave both their links down below if you want to check them out. So without further ado, let us get started! The first question is Lemonade. Pick a book that started out bitter but got better. And I am picking Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. I hated this book at the beginning. Mostly because the main character, Sam, is a total bitch, and I hated her so, so much. But then as the story goes on, she develops a lot as a character, and I ended up giving this book like a 4 out of 5 stars, I think. It ended very nicely. Everything wrapped up pretty well, and I enjoyed it. I'm pretty sure they're making this into a movie, too, so I'm excited for that to see how that works out. The second question is Golden Sun. Pick a book that made you smile beyond compare, and I am going with Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. This is my first Rainbow Rowell book. I don't know why I put it off for so long to read a Rainbow Rowell book, because I absolutely love this book. Gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. It's one of my favorite books now. Mostly I smiled a lot because of Park's mom. I'm obsessed with her. I just want like a spin-off series of just Park's mom. I personally think that would be amazing. Please make it happen, Rainbow Rowell. Thank you. Question three is Tropical Flowers, and it is pick a book set in a foreign country, and I am going with Anne and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. You all know I love this book. I have a review of it if you're interested. Shameless promotion. But this book is set in Paris. Everybody knows I want to go to Paris. I want to go to Paris so, so badly, and I still have not gone. I need to go, like, ASAP. It's going to happen one day. Hopefully, probably not because I'm broke, but, you know, maybe if I marry rich. Question four is Tree Shade. Pick a book where a shady character was first introduced, and I am going with James from The Magician by D.A. Poopa. James is one of the main characters. He's completely evil. I love him so much. He's one of my favorite evil characters in the entire world. Being inside James's head is so fascinating because he's basically like a serial killer psychopath and just everything he thinks is so cool. I know I probably sound super crazy, but I just love him as a character. I love being inside his head. And if you haven't read this book, please read it because it's super good. Question five is Beach Sand and it is to pick a book that is grainy and the plot barely developed and I am going with Me, The Missing and the Dead by Jenny Valentine. I recently read this book. I really did not like it. I, I thought that it was just kind of boring, didn't connect with any of the characters, it wasn't my cup of tea. Basically this boy, Lucas, his dad disappears five years ago and then he meets this old lady, Violet Park, who's actually dead and her ashes are in an urn and he basically talks to these ashes and he thinks that she's trying to reconnect him with his father. I just, no. I mean, like, it was cute, but it was kind of stupid, so it's a no from me. Question number six is green grass. Pick a character that was so full of life it made you smile. I'm picking Cat from Alice in Zombieland by Jenna Showalter. Cat is Alice's best friend. And I am so in love with her. She is so sarcastic and sassy, and it just makes me so happy. I personally would love to be best friends with her. I think she'd be so, so much fun. And she makes me smile a lot. And I'm very excited to read the second and third book and fourth book because it just came out. Question seven is watermelon, and you have to pick a book with some juicy secrets. And I am going with If You Find Me by Emily Murdoch. I can't tell you what the secret is, but basically Carrie, who is the main character, is hiding something giant in order to protect her little sister Nessa. They were kidnapped 15 years ago by their mom. When it's revealed, it's like, oh my gosh, that's insane. I absolutely love this book. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 on Goodreads. Please read the book. It's so good. Question number eight is Sun Hat, and it is to pick a book with a big, vast setting or universe. And I am going with The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. I love these books. The world is so cool. I'm obsessed with it. I'm on Clockwork Angel right now, and I am just loving them. And the world is huge, so this is my answer. <sighs> I don't know why I waited so long to read these books. It's because they're ginormous, and ginormous books scare me. But, oh my god, I love it so much, and I'm so excited to finish the rest of the series. The final question is barbecue, and it is to pick a book where a character was portrayed as a hunk. And I don't know if this like qualifies, but I think he's pretty hunky, and I would love to be with him, I'm just saying. And that is Captain Thorn from Crest by Marissa Meyer. I love him. 
I'm sure you've all heard me gush about him by now. I would love to marry him. He's just my, ugh, ugh. Fictional crush to the max. I love him. Alright guys, so that was the summer readers tag. I tag all of you. Every single one of you. So you, there. Your tag. Do the tag. Thank you. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye. Ugh, I forgot. She's in a, ver a vern. <sighs> a something. I'm Alice through... Uh.